This update is for August 2019. This is my 40-gallon breeder Acropora tank. My two-part consumption is up to 140 milliliters per day. Growth is good. Coloration is good. Get some shots of the eight cans. This is my favorite A can. I'm gonna do some fragging today. I got some corals getting close to the glass and the surface. And a few over here crowding each other. Figure to put up the update before I start clipping. All the fish seem happy, no aggression issues. Uh, I was dealing with cyano in both of my tanks for about the last six months i drastically increased feeding and over maybe the course of a month or two it just went away i didn't change anything other than that no bacteria no red slime remover my experience is just to wait it out and it will eventually go away Similar progress in my 75 gallon tank. The cyano has gone away and the coralline algae is really starting to take off. And most of the corals I have glued down to the bottom glass are starting to encrust. That's a mystic monopora back there, the pink one. Polyp extension is excellent. I do have issues with this one tricolor Acropora. I don't know if something's nipping at the tips or they're burnt from too much light. But all the other mini colonies around them are not having any issues. So I'm just going to ride it out and see what happens. Got some excellent coloration. Here's the peninsula shot. A cans are doing nice as well. The only other coral I had issues with is this pink Cadillac, I moved it. Still not growing, it's not receding anymore. I'm gonna see if it likes this new spot and starts to take off. All the fish are accounted for, no recent losses. My mystery grass is fitting in nicely and staying nice and fat and healthy. The 40 Fusion I've had for a little over a month Put in some invertebrates. I have some hermit crabs and some astrea snails. I've been ghost feeding it every day. I like to wait you know, at least a month or two before I add any fish. The water kind of went through the cloudy phase. It's still a little bit cloudy. And I definitely had the bloom of anthropods and copepods that are all over the glass. So that's a good sign. And I have one zoanthid in here to test out how it's going to do. My plans for this tank are to have zoanthids and seahorses. And some gregordians for them to hang on. And that's going to be it. It's going to be kind of a low flow seahorse tank. I don't plan on dosing. I have an auto water change set up like the rest of the tanks. So if you see I have... ROD lines plumbed all the way behind the couch and then it goes up this tube into the attic with the 75 gallon. 
So I just have a top off on one head and then the other two heads do about a thousand milliliter water change per day. And I'm hoping that will be enough to keep trace elements and major elements in line for just zoanthids. I don't think there should be any major calcium consumption. In order to keep the seahorses, you have to maintain a cooler water temperature at least below 76 degrees. So on the back of this cheap Chinese LED box, I installed some computer cooling fans. They're 80 millimeters. And from back here in the room and the seating position on the couch, they're invisible to the eye. And I have them hooked up to my favorite Rainbird temperature controller. So it kicks on at 77. If it gets too warm, brings it down to 76. And then the heater comes on at 75, brings it to 76. I'm using an Eheim Jaeger 75 watt heater. And for filtration, I've been switching out these pinky filter pads in the back. Frag sump setup's doing good. Gonna fill this rack out a little more when I do some fragging later today. The A cans I had fragged a few weeks ago are doing good. I am dealing with some hair algae growing on the plugs. There's no fish in here or anything to consume the algae. So I'm thinking about maybe looking into a goby or something to help keep these plugs clean. Some top-down footage of the 40-gallon breeder. As you can see, this tip is sticking out of the water. It's a tabling red acro. It's the blueberry. Got the Cali tort back here in the corner. Top down of the 75. Got a power outage. I have three aquariums. So my temporary backup solution for a short term outage is an extension cord for each tank. And I have them just hooked up to the return pumps. No other equipment. And then I have an extension cord running out to my car that I have a small 200 watt power inverter hooked up to my battery and I have the car running. So this is my solution for a temporary outage if it's going to be out much longer than a few hours. I'll hook up the generator. Alright, long term plan. It's going to be out for about 6 hours. I got the car disconnected. I don't want it to run all night. I got an 8,000 watt generator. Tied into the house, it runs the whole house. Mangroves I planted, starting to take root. Starting to throw off some leaves. I'm just using this bin out here in the sun with my auto water change water that drains outside. That's all I got for this month. I'm going to include a little footage of my trip to West End Bahamas last week. Thanks for watching.
Ozark. <laughs>